really didn't think about the Navy until I was applying for colleges and uh, you know considering money and how expensive colleges were I read about this place where you can go and it's free you know, that sounds pretty pretty good and uh, so I applied to the Naval Academy and was was lucky enough to get accepted I went to the Naval Academy prep school and then on and then it wasn't until uh, I was at the Naval Academy that I realized because you know, I naively I just thought oh well after the Naval Academy you just go be in the Navy I didn't realize what being in the Navy there's different options that you can choose so I was probably you know, into well into my freshman year sophomore year where I really sort of learned about the SEAL teams and what's involved and that intrigued me to continue to pursue the prerequisites that they have in place at the Naval Academy. You know, well, my parents were all for the Naval Academy. Um, there's great financial benefit to going to the Naval Academy and it's a great school. So we were all, as a family, we were very excited when I was accepted. And then it wasn't until, you know, I was out of plebe beer and kind of able to have some forward vision about what my life would be like after the Navy did I really think seriously about the SEAL teams and so my own parents were a little skeptical when I told them that I was actually going to select SEAL as a service selection. You know now in hindsight as at what I would tell them and what I would tell any parent that's out there that's a little bit concerned about their son entering the SEAL teams is that there's risk involved in any military community, whether it's on a submarine or an aircraft, aviation has huge risk that comes with it. However, what we do in the SEAL teams, it's just like we do here at NASA, it would put, there's a lot of people and a lot of effort goes into mitigating those risks and doing everything we can to uh, stack the deck in our favor. In the SEAL community, it's with detailed mission planning, knowing everything you can about the enemy and the terrain and the battlefield and uh, preparing your equipment, being in the best physical shape and mental shape you can be. Um, and then a cohesive unit that's used to fighting together, used to, used to each other, and it's those guys that go out and execute the missions. Same thing we do in the space shuttle or in, in, on space vehicles, you know. You're riding on top of a rocket, a controlled explosion behind you, but there's thousands of people that are, have put the safety procedures in place to mitigate that risk. You know, in general, I think the military is really good for anybody. No matter how long you're in the military for, that couple years or career does nothing but benefit you in the long run, whether it be just to instill in you a sense of personal pride and a sense of accomplishment, or I can tackle anything, I can get the job done, or you're applying for a job in the future that you're really not sure about all of the details, it's out of your subject matter expertise. Well. My experience in, in the SEAL teams and with going through Buzz has given me the confidence to just know that I can figure it out and you can accomplish anything you want really. And, and if you look at a random sampling of life after the SEAL teams, you'll see people in all different sectors of industry doing all kinds of things. It's really that sense of accomplishment that you can do anything you want uh, if you set your mind to it.